Yo, what's up guys? In today's YouTube video, we're going to be building a tier list for all the items that Tay that Lost can find in a regular way without spinning down on using death certificate. My name is Toshi and I am a Tay that Lost streaker with a personal best of 36 runs in a row. So hopefully I will be knowing what I'm talking about. Leave a comment if you agree at the end of the tier list. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Alright guys, let's do this. I'm a... This is a good tier rate up. It's a good tier rate up, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put this into better at the moment. And I'll I'll be honest, I really don't care about triple shot. Triple shot is crazy with triple shot is crazy with a couple of items like Tech X and Mom's knife. But I don't wanna. I I'm personally not a fan of the tier rate down. I'd rather have singular tiers with high tier rate. So I'm gonna put it into mediocre. Homing is huge on Tainted Lost, guys. It reaches enemies where you can't reach. It makes Brimstone and it makes Tech X GG. So we're putting it here. Cricket's head is an amazing damage multiplier. But it's better than it's better than it's better than homing, but I don't wanna put it in S tier. I don't wanna put it in S tier. Also I really like the damage up from I really like the damage up from this item. I don't I, from the broken mirror. I don't like the shot speed up that it can give you when you have tech X. But other than that, this is pretty solid. I'm gonna put it. I like damage more than I like tier rate personally. Yo, Muffy Max, thanks so much for the raid. Unfortunately, I lost the tainted lost streak, so I'm gonna be doing a quick little, a quick little, um, a quick little tier list for devil for tainted lost items. All right, guys. This is a huge tier rate up. <laughs> it's a huge tier rate up, but the range down is so risky on tainted lost guys. But I like it more than triple shot. I like it more than triple shot. This is a, just a plain old damage up. We'll put it here. Brother Bobby, bro. <laughs> bro, brother Bobby is better than triple shot. I don't care what you say. Brother Bobby is better than triple shot. Magic Marsh, we're gonna put it right here. Magic Marsh is probably the best almost carry items because of the damage and the speed up. The speed up is huge. Speed up is so important on the end lost. Wait, you can't get this item. I need to I need to remove this item. You can't get this one. This is Katole, right? This is Katole, which makes it that enemy flies can't hurt you, right? You can only get this from the beggar with the game. From the scam machine. It's good, but there are better items than Skatola. Let's put it. Let's put it under Brother Bobby. Speed and range up is huge. Speed and range up is very important, especially early on. I'd still rather get damage up. But I kind of value speed a little bit more than tier 8, I would say. 99 keys. Uh, you will rarely have key problems as Tainted Lost. I'd rather get better secret room items than that. $100 bills. <sighs> Dude, it's gonna be such a full tier list, by the way. $100 bill is actually pretty good because shops are so important on Tainted Lost. So we're gonna, we're gonna put it here. I'd rather get damage and DPS. But getting 100 coins for the shop is really nice. Then bombs if you can find them early. Hell yeah, beat the boss like this. I don't really care about the compass. Compass is nice for finding finding the end easily. I like speed, but it's only speed. It's doesn't have a secondary doesn't have a secondary setup, so I'm gonna put it here. But I value speed more than range. But range is also good. Tier 8, I'm gonna put it here. Bro, the Bible? Bible definitely not the book of choice, but if you don't have a better book, you're gonna one-shot ma mom fight and you're gonna one-shot the heart as well, so... I'm gonna put it at the top of Mediocre, since it has its uses. Book of Belial, short damage up every three rooms. Sure, I guess it's I guess it's better than I guess it's and it also boosts your level do chance a little bit. 
I really like this book personally. I'd rather get the other items here in this list. But just being able to AoE clear a room every four rooms can be really important. I don't care about this active item. I'm gonna put it at bad. There's better ones. Damage head is useless unless you have like God head or Brimstone, but even then it's not what it used to be. It's not what it used to be, unfortunately. This one freezes enemies, right? It can kind of save you. It can kind of save you in a room with a lot of enemies where you just freeze them. So I guess it's okay. I'd rather I'd rather I'd rather freeze them than fear them, so let's put it like this. This should be <laughs> S tier just because of the animation. <laughs> We're gonna put it in mediocre. Alright, pops. Rotten head. I'll swear, I'll, I'll, I hit myself more often than I don't hit myself with this. Just because... Just because it ricochets off the wall instead of exploding on the wall, I don't like that. Teleporter is also not what it's supposed to be, because if you get teleported into the curse room, it's GG. We can try and risk doing stuff with it, like stealing items from challenge rooms and sacrifice and curse rooms. But for me, the risk is not worth not worth it. I'll be honest. The risk is not worth it. I like luck food, but you still don't don't identify the pills. So you don't identify the pills. You you're gonna get status, but if you're still gonna get teleported into the curse room, it's still GG. It is still GG, but I guess it's better than these items. I only don't value the dollar that much because you're never gonna find it. I don't gamble that much. There's not a bad active item. I see that bad is going to be a lot of active items. It deals good damage, but just like Epic Fetus, it's pretty dangerous. I guess it's better than... It's gonna put it at the top of the bad stack. Piercing is huge. Piercing is really not bad. I guess I like damage more and speed, but I, I like it more than range. I like it more than range. Shoop the Whoop is a crazy item. Shoop is actually crazy. It, especially early on, it's gonna carry you so much. Amazing synergies. Yeah, we like Shoop the Whoop. Huge damage up. But it's very rare to get. I'm gonna put it here. This is a very good damage up. This is probably the best damage up. It also raises your devil deal chance. Doesn't have to, doesn't need more much introduction. The pentagram. Doctor Fetus. <laughs> Doctor Fetus. No, thank you. <laughs> Not even if I have bomb protection. Not even if I have bomb protection by any means. Mapping sure. Shooting at the back of your head is kind of risky. I'll be honest. I'll, I take it sometimes. But it can, it is pretty risky. If it kills an enemy behind you, if it kills an enemy behind you that your net's ready for, it's gonna explode and damage you and you lose a holy mantle. This is just a garbage, no use active item. It's not gonna deal much except maybe in basement one. We did die, a corner, we did die. We did die, look. Streak PB, 36. Current. Zero. Unlucky, it's my bad. Uh, this deals decent damage, but it can still kill enemies that are really close to you. Alright, Book of Shadows is game winning. This item, I'm gonna put it at almost carries. Just being to double charge the Book of Shadows is GG. Steam Sale, we like Steam Sale a lot. I like it more than range. I like it more than this guy. Let's put it after piercing. <laughs> okay, bro. Anakis cookbook. No, we're not gonna cook anything. No, thank you. No, thank you. We have no active item. It's a good active item. Which one? The lemon? I don't care about the lemon, dude. Hourglass slows down enemies. It's not bad. Sure. Sister Maggie. Is Sister Maggie better than Brother Bobby? Battery? Nah, dude, the battery is so useful with so many active items. I like Sister Maggie more than Brother Bobby, I'm sorry. Laser is huge. It's it's practically piercing. 
Spectre and Clip Piercing and Untainted Loss, you have Spectral Tears, so your shots go over... Your shots go over the... Rocks anyways, but I don't like it more than some of the damage ups here. Put it like this, I guess that's fair. Chocolate Milk! Chocolate Milk is only good because of its synergies. Yeah, I'm gonna say it. Chocolate Milk is only good because of the synergies, guys. It's not bad, you can spam a lot, you can charge big shots. It does good work with piercing and stuff. I'm gonna put it at the end of better, or at the start of mediocre, I guess. Growth Hormones. Probably one of the best bad items you can find. It's not gonna carry a run, but just being able to get speed and damage, I kind of like it more than Pentagram. I like it more than Shoop as well. Also like Pentagram more than Shoop. Mini much speed and size down is gonna put it at the start of the speed up items. Cube of meat, mediocre. It can block a rare stray shot, but it's not gonna do anything. 95 coiner, sure, we'll take it. It's worse than the money. It's... It can help you buy something, but you find it pretty late into the run. Unless you get really lucky with the pots, so. PhD is huge. PhD is definitely better than Lucky Foot. I like PhD a lot for the stats it gives. Yeah, I like it a lot actually. It's definitely not an almost carry, but let's put it somewhere here, depending on what pills you get. X-ray vision is pretty good, as we saw earlier today, but I mean, if you're good at the game, you're gonna find the Securitum anyways. The only thing it's good at is saving your bones. This is also pretty good active item, because you get protection. I like it more than dollar. I like it more than most active items here. Also, like in more than range. Yeah, let's put it in the middle. Mark, huge damage, huge speed up. Beautiful. Huge damage, huge tier rate up. Beautiful. Shovel? Shovel has its uses. A lot of crawl spaces kind of good items. Yeah, I like shovel. There's definitely active items that I like more. But shovel is pretty much in the middle of the pack. Somewhere between 25 and 100 cents. Yeah, if your build is bad, then the mapping can make it so that you have to clear less room, so it's less risky, right? Deck of cards almost carries more than the book, more than piercing, more than the battery. Probably more than Cricket's head, I would say. Every six rooms getting a active item, a uh, card is huge. For all monstrous too. I guess it's the best out of the never items. I guess it's the best out of the never items. <laughs> Screw Monstrous Tooth. It's gonna jump on you and kill you. Okay, horns are pretty mid. They can spam a lot of tears, but you also lose control over where you're shooting. Little Chub is mid, but he can block tears, I guess. I don't like slowing down enemies. It can be helpful, it can sometimes save you, but it also makes it so much harder to dodge some dodges. Alright guys, and now get ready. The item everyone's been waiting for. Small rock. Hell nah, dude. I'm gonna get so much hate for this, but screw small rock. If I never find small rock in my game again, I'm not gonna be sad, dude. Everyone that says damage and tier is more important than having 0.8 speed. You guys are crazy. I'm definitely not playing Tainted Lost on 0.8 speed. For that reason, you go to the end of the bad line. This is... Pretty good mapping. It also shows secret room, so I'm gonna put it ahead of compass, I guess. Game kit is the same effect as this, plus fear effect, which I don't like because it makes it harder to kill every single one of them. Points are always good. This guy I don't care about. Put it between Brother Bobby and Sister Maggie. Book of Sins. Ooh. It's not an almost carry, but it can drop cards. I guess it's better than a shovel. A shovel gives you items, but this can give you a holy card if you really need one. Gish is... I don't like Gish because of the slowing down. So let's put him down here. <laughs> Little Steven! Little Steven is a goat. He has homing. He has homing, not gonna lie. That that makes him better than the, most of these guys. 
So I'm gonna put him at the start of Mediocre. Halo is huge. Halo is probably first place here, just because it's tier 8 range, damage, speed, everything. Pills, pretty bad. They're good if you have starter deck or if you know what your pills are, I don't care about pills. Common Cold is decent damage over time. You can kill enemies while they're untargetable. I'd rather have speed and tier 8 though, and piercing. Let's put it like this. Split shot. Split shot is a fun item, but it, in rare cases it's gonna deal good stuff. Let's put it in mediocre. D6. I wanna put it almost carries, but it is up there. It can help you get really good items really fast. Let's put it like this. Big boy bombs are good, but also dangerous, but the bombs deal a lot of damage. I'm gonna put it above the 10 bombs. Pinky shears, pinky shears deal a lot of damage, but you're really gonna keep pinky shears through at the run. I guess they deal a lot of damage though, so it's going to mediocre. Money equals power can be good damage, but only if you have a lot of money, which eventually you're gonna accumulate probably if you have perfection. I'll put it below steam sale. Freeze effect is huge. I'm gonna put freeze effect into into better items. I like freeze effect a lot. Just just it gives you so much time to think. Yes, you will think of stopping by. Garbage item, I'm not even gonna talk about it. Don't care about that item. Lil Abaddon can screw you. I don't wanna put him into bad. Because it's still conjoined, but he can shoot at enemies when you don't want it, and it can really hurt you. So I'm gonna put him at the end of Mediocre. Knife is a game winner, but you need to be good. Knife is a skill issue, yeah, knife is a game winner. It is a skill issue, but it's a game winner, not gonna lie. 9 volt battery is probably slightly worse than this battery. Brimstone, I'm putting that game winner, I don't care. This one you're gonna find pretty rarely, but it's it's a speed up, I guess. Speed up means something, but you're not never gonna find it unless you grind a blood donation machine with a shield. Tear it up, speed up, damage down. I like the tear it up, but I don't like the speed down, but I guess it's still better than number f number one. And this one is just plain out bad. I'm gonna put him here. Like these two items, they're only good if you have high sp high, high speed. Otherwise, never take those. Damage and speed, sure. There's a book where it can giga scam you. Put it at the end of mediocre. Eh, yeah. Dead Sea Scrolls. I don't care about Dead Sea Scrolls. I never take. I never take. I never take homing bombs. I guess if you need bombs, it's good, but it's gonna be really hard to avoid the explosions when the bombs are following the enemies and the enemies are following you. Sure, let's reset the floor. That's also risky. This is the same as this one with a little bit more range. Pony? It can save you. Pony can actually save you. I'll put it here. And it's not an almost carry. It can definitely save you. Let's put it here. It's one of the better active items you can find. It's gonna save you. Troll bombs. Bombs would it? I sh I would put this into better if it wouldn't drop troll bombs. If because it drops troll bombs, we put it into mediocre because you have to be careful. Coal is very solid. It has very good synergies actually. Let's put it together with the technology. Guppy Sail you're gonna rarely use. If you get it early, you're gonna have... You're gonna struggle finding keys. I'd rather have perfection than this. Also, don't care about this active item. I don't care about this active item. This only uses that it gives you 5 bombs. Getting a second trinket is huge. There's better shop items. But getting a second trinket allows you for such crazy combos with the perfection. I guess I'll put it here. I value that a lot, but not enough to put it into better. 
poison bombs. Let's put it with the bombs. Pageant boy. So when you don't need pageant boy, it arrives and you don't get the setup. And when you really just need one coin, you're never gonna find the pageant boy. And for that reason, it's mediocre. Speed and shot speed up. This is my least favorite of the speed up items. Just because it can ruin your tech X build. But speed up is speed up. But I like piercing more, I guess. Coin bump. It spins down into something useful, I guess, if you spin it down a couple of times, but I do not care about this. I do not care about this guy. Here. Guppy's head. Oh, Guppy's head can deal so much damage with the right items, but you have also no control where the flies go. I rarely keep this one. There's so many better active items, but it can it can help you, I guess. It can help you. Notched X is huge. Destroy all the skulls for free. And you might find a holy card. I pick heck! <laughs> Bro. I'd be honest, I'd rather have Ipekek than Dr. Fetus. I'd rather have Ipekek because. Yeah, I'd rather have Ipekek because you can control it a little bit. It's up to you when you shoot and you know where it's gonna go. Dr. Fetus, you shoot it and then the enemies push it around and you never know what's gonna happen to you. I don't think it's worth it. This one is huge. Very good. Very good item. I'm gonna put it up here with the perfection together. You're gonna melt all the enemies. Oof, there's still so many items left, guys. Mulligan. Works with some items, doesn't work with some items. It spawns tier. Uh, it flies. I, I have it. I. It's more consistent than Guppy's head, I guess. But as I said, the problem with flies are you can't control them. This laser. <sighs> I don't like the tier rate down that it gives you. I'd rather have technology 2 than technology. Or technology, I mean. Instead of technology 2. I guess it's better than range up, shovel. You can do some nice stuff with this. 10% down quad shot is the same as triple shot. Damage up and range up. Ooh. On every second tier. Mediocre. Leap. He literally does nothing, I don't care about little Pleep, he's just flying around randomly through the room. Here. Oh, Hourglass is actually an interesting item. Usually it just drops your soul hearts. But the moment it drops your holy card is crazy, and it also gives you mapping, so I'm gonna put it at the top of mapping, I guess. Rex Sky deals decent damage. A good active item. Better than the shovel, better than freezing. You can one-shot a lot of bosses with Crack the Sky. Yeah. Yeah, Ghost Baby! It's my favorite one out of these ones, I would say, even though it literally doesn't matter. But Spectral Tears are nice. Blue Candle almost carries. Blue Candle is huge, the first floors, guys. Don't sleep on the candles. Don't sleep on the candles. Damage up at shot speeds. Don't take this if you have tech X. Otherwise, pretty nice. D20. <sighs> if you want to go for game breaks, it can do some nice stuff. But you can roll and hope for holy cards, I guess. But it's very inconsistent and a lot of charges, so I'm gonna put it... I guess it's more useful than... This one's actually my least favorite one. Epic Fetus. I'll be honest, Epic Fetus, if you have mouse controls on, it's not as bad as Ipekek or Dr. Fetus. I'd rather pick up Dr. Fetus than Speed Dance as well. I'm gonna put this into bad, guys. It's risky, but you can control it. If I have nothing else, I'll take I'll take Epic Fetus. Could have almost crazy damage. I wouldn't say almost carries. Eh, actually. I guess it almost carries. Crazy damage. There is mouse control. If you're playing on PC, yes, you have to enable it. Daddy Longlegs deals a lot of damage, but can also hurt you. But I'm a huge fan. Also a huge fan of this active item because it turns enemies into spiders. If you kill them with it. 
I guess it's worse than Guppy's head, though. Epic videos with chasing enemies is fun. Tough Love isn't almost carries. Nah, if you have perfection, yeah, it's pretty solid damage. I guess, yeah, it's it's on the top row of better, I guess that's enough, high enough placement. Rainbow Baby's garbage. I think it can hurt you, right? I'm not 100% sure, but I think it can hurt you. That's key is a good active item, but you're gonna find better. It's gonna allow you to skip rooms, but you can also just bomb them. The only really good use for this is stealing stuff from boss rush and boss challenge rooms. I prefer other active items. Gambling. Gambling is bad, guys. Don't gamble. You have some good stuff with this. I like holy water, guys. It's gonna be controversial. How do I do this? I can't scroll up, can I? I can. Holy water! Guys. Freezing Isaac and just killing him before he goes to another phase can make or break a run, guys. And it's useful throughout every single floor. Yeah, Holy Water deserves deserves a high rank. This is definitely better than the other pony. It's better than this speed up, I guess. Also, this is also better than the other speed up. It can protect you, and it also deals a lot of damage, just like Crack the Sky. Second Heart. Not game winning, but it is up there. Homing helps a lot, damage helps a lot. Sacred Heart is just a classic. And this one, I'm gonna put it higher than most of the tier 8 items. Just because it spin downs into Sacred Heart, guys. Not better than Mushroom? No, Mushroom gives you speed up. This is huge speed up. You have to value speed up is so important, guys, on Tainted Lost. It has saved me from so much stuff. And not the best copy item, but I guess. It can block tears. I'm gonna put it here. I guess you can hide behind it. Still chilling, repping Yori. Yo, thank you for still being here. Second Heart isn't game winning. Yeah, but would you would you put Magic Mushroom also as game winning? I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I'd rather have the speed up. This is huge damage. But if you if you're gonna die, like. You can have all the damage in the world, but if you die, you die. Abel? <laughs> I'm kidding, dude. Abel is... Oh. I like him more than the Wiz. Delusional tier list, by the way. Speed, damage... Tier 8. I think Halo is cooler, so I'm gonna put it second. Yeah, thanks much for the Prime stuff. Okay. 99 bombs, huge. But I'd rather find other... Secret room items. But I guess it's the best best bomb item you can find. You gonna be up tomorrow? Yes. I thought this golden on fortune tell us. Oh yeah, that's maybe I won't I didn't consider the gambling aspect of Luckfoot. Yeah, you might be right. The gambling aspect helps, but I like that it doesn't identify. Okay. Never I'd rather take Ipecac than this one. Sure. Homing for a couple of rooms. Makes it better than most of the active items here. Okay, homing for one room. This can drop a holy card, but other than this, it's very disappointing. But it can drop a holy card. Sometimes it can clutch up, I guess. Sometimes it can clutch up. Just for that reason, it goes on top of mediocre. I don't like pills. I don't. I don't use them. But I am as well, I guess. This is only good if you have starter deck or PhD, otherwise I'm never gonna take this. I really don't care about pills. Tier 8, but pretty weak tier 8 up. My least favorite tier 8 up item, I would say. Damage and speed, uh, damage and range. Yeah. I like it more than the other damage ups in the second row. But if you go into the Angel deal and you find Jesus Juice, you're gonna be very disappointed. This drops good good stuff. It could in theory drop a holy card, it also drops some other stuff. So I'm gonna put it over over the eight ball. It can also drop a holy card there. This is crazy good value. Just making chests drop so much more stuff, especially gold chests. 
huge. I'm gonna put it in the middle of better. Hey, maybe it's almost... Nah, I, don't, I wouldn't say it carries. Charming Tears. I don't care. I guess it can save you in a dire situation, but other than that... Pretty bad item. Concussion. I like the damage. I don't like the unpredictable concussed, concussive enemies. But it is still a damage up, I guess. But there's better damage ups. I'm gonna put it here. Next to Steven. You can chill there. Double the bombs. Useful, but boring. Guillotine! <laughs> But if you have a build where it doesn't matter where your tears come from, it's pretty good. You can just chill, it can save you, but... I'm gonna take this close to never. This one is also close to never. The small damage up the champion belt gives you is not worth fighting so many champions, guys. It's too risky. Champions explode, they shoot tears. It's not good. I like butt bombs, they can clear some hard rooms. I like it more than the poison bombs. Shield at tier's huge. If you have piercing... If you have piercing it saves your ass, not gonna lie. Goat hat. Goat hat almost carries just because it can give you good items. Don't <laughs> listen to him, plus one damage. This is also just a regular damage up with nothing else. I don't know the exact value, so I'm just going by, by vibe. I'd rather find other angel devil deal items than this. Spiders, very inconsistent spiders. Let's put it here. Eh. Sidebones is nice. Sidebones is probably the best one here. Best one of the regular bombs, I guess. <laughs> Yo, guys, our favorite item, rubber cement. <laughs> Just for the fact that you can't push troll bombs makes it a very bad item. I'd rather take it than small rock. It's crazy with brimstone, but you can't push the troll bombs away from you guys. And troll bombs are one of the most dangerous things for Tainted Lost. Anti-gravity is bad in my opinion. It's good tier rate, but like it's gonna ruin your brimstone. You have to tap. I don't like it. Cricket's body. I don't like the range down. I like the tears that split everywhere. I guess it's better than Locust Horns. This is worse than Locust Horns and Cricket's Body though. I'm pulling some of them down. Some of these items are getting demoted. Yeah, I guess this makes more sense. This gives you a really good tear rate up. Your shot can screw you up, but I like it. Monstrous slunk. Oof, that's a hard one. Monstrous slunk. It's good if you have high tear rate with piercing, with brimstone, with knife, with tech X. But it's so risky. I guess it can stop, stay on top of that. It deals a lot of damage, but when enemies are charging at you, and you're not ready to shoot them, it's gonna kill you even already in basement 1. Damage up and speed up, nice, we like those. Slowing down enemies with nothing else, we don't like those. <laughs> Tiny planet, bro. <laughs> Get off my screen. Get off my screen. We already basically had this one. This one with Polyphemus is GG. But without Polyphemus, I'm gonna put it here. Piercing. Huge damage up, but also tear it down. Puts you here. Just from the vibe. You don't take Tiny Player with Brim? Okay, I guess I do, but... I don't care about it. E pieces. Mediocre. Definition of mediocre. Higher angel deal chances, but do you want that? This one is a never unless I have a glowing hourglass, but I guess it's the best never. What is this one again? This one is... Double the pickups, right? Double pickups not bad, definitely better than just double bombs. Take from 5 I like a lot. Take from 5 is gonna help you so much. 
I'm gonna put it at the... It helps you especially in the early floors so much. I wouldn't say it almost carries, but it is very, very solid. I guess it can stay here. Hello, Pianino. 2020, I like 2020 a lot. But it's not what it used to be because of the damage down. But it's still good. It's not a carry though. Secret rooms are probably the least important one. But the secret rooms can be good. Fake reset, unfortunately. Yeah, BFF. BFF is a good item. But only because it buffs your other familiars. But I don't really care about it too much. I guess you can go into Mediocre. There are other items I'd rather find. Flies. It's... <laughs> okay. Sure. Boost your fly damage, but it's also risky. This one is huge. Let's put it here, because it's gonna allow you to find most of the other ones. More double bombs? Starter deck is a game winner. Unless you get really unlucky, but it is a game winner. <laughs> yeah, okay, bro. This is even worse than all the other ones. <laughs> also, this gives you Bookworm Touch, so I guess it's slightly better. Bookworm Touch is actually not bad. Let's use it. Let's put it first place here. Damage and range up, we already had similar ones. Here. Hear it and shot speed. I like to rate, I don't like shot speed. Unless we have proptosis. Sure. Burning bombs can deal a lot of damage, but. Yeah, whatever. I guess they they can be situationally better than sad bombs. Let's put it like this. They can also block tears. Fire mind is a huge never. Never, ever, ever. Yeah. <laughs> Missing though is certainly a nope. Dark Matter, the only reason I don't place it higher is because I don't like that it makes your tiers smaller. It always feels wrong when your tiers get smaller. It feels like they do a little less damage when they don't. I'm gonna put this at better. This is the reason we lost our run, maybe. This might be the reason why we lost our run, so... The Curse of the Blind, RPB. This is huge, but it's also dangerous, but I like it a lot. It's kind of, this is kill issue, but you gotta play well with the Proptosis. <sighs> oh, we're starting to get those. Where's Blankard, by the way? It's coming up. You can double some really good runes with this. It's probably a pretty good active item. I like the active items that we have here. Dry Baby is huge. Probably the best familiar you can find. You can just hide behind it, and it deals damage. Wait, that makes it better. What is that better? Mm. Just for the... Just for the protection it gives you. I don't care about this one, this is inconsistent, and it's... Spiders, we already had this one. Oh baby, <laughs> you can control it, I like it. I like it most from most familiars. Rotten Baby deals damage, but it can hurt you. But it can deal good damage and consistently as well. Let's put it here. But you gotta be careful. Headless Baby, useless. Leech, useless, and it can hurt you. I'm gonna put it even in bad. You can't control it. Mystery Sack is probably my favorite one. <laughs> yeah, okay, bro, it's getting... We're getting to the bad items. I'd rather have Dr. Fetus than BF BFF Fly. And I'd rather have Pop Sprain than BFF Fly. Little Brim is good. I like Little Brim. It deals a lot of AoE damage. Let's put him right to Piercing. I guess he fits to Piercing. Little Haunt. I don't care about Little Haunt. It can deal damage and kill fear enemies. I'm not a huge fan of Little Haunt, not gonna lie. This one spawns spiders, more spider spamming, but she's cute, so she gets into mediocre. D100, ah, guys, I want to bet, go put D100 into bad, but just because of the D100 bug that you can do, you can get some really gnarly devil deal items from this. So just just the bug helps this a lot. 
What bug? You can kind of manipulate from what your from what pool your rerolled items are going to be. We used it on last stream, and kind of saved the run. Not gonna lie. So, what I said almost carries. Maybe just because you can also reroll a bad item as well. Same with D one D four, but you also don't reroll your stats. So I like it more than D one hundred. I really don't care about rerolling rocks. It's boring, it does nothing. Blank card huge. Blank card almost carries, but you need a holy card, so I'm gonna put it at the end there. Book of Secrets, it's mapping basically, and it blocks your active item slot, and it's also random. Box of Spires, come on, how many items are there to spawn stuff? I guess it's a little bit more consistent. Red Candle. It's gonna save your early game, but I like Blue Candle more. Put it like this. It's a Necromicon between Flush. Flush is the same as Necronomicon, plus it can kill bosses. Like all the poop bosses, huge, almost all poop bosses. Krampus is a good item, but I'm gonna place it low. Just because I usually want the cold to drop. I usually want cold to drop. But if you, for by any chance, have no other active item, you can deal serious AoE damage with it. Bean is garbage. I don't care about the bean. Magic fingers. I'm gonna. You're gonna be surprised, but I'm putting magic fingers at almost a run winner. Especially late game and early. It's huge early game when the enemies have less HP, and it's huge less game when you have a lot of money and you have decent damage. It's it it literally can one-shot whole rooms it's crazy don't sleep on it Pandora's box if everything is right you could spawn items and roll them in the secret room I guess this is a good speed up sure it's a huge speed up actually Libra is a never for me Especially after it doesn't work with soy milk even anymore. That's so disappointing. This is poison. We already had poison up here. I think the common cold is cooler. Piercing and speed up is probably one of the better speed up items. Just because I like piercing a lot. If I put D100, so why? D1, just because of the Tenor Libra, yeah, it doesn't work with soy milk that well anymore. I put this one so high because you can, through a bug, you can manipulate what kind of pools your items go. So if you like your basement 1 and basement 2 items were horrible, you can kind of manipulate it to get more devil deal items, which can kind of save your run. And it can also remove bad items from your run. So if you have rift tears or something like that, we're gonna remove it. Let's put it like this. Trail of Tears is cool, but it literally does nothing. Curate and Knockback. Knockback can sometimes be dangerous, but... Knockback can also help you. Put it like this. East Mascara is huge. The Tear Rate Down can sometimes mess you up, but it's a pretty good damage up. And it has crazy good synergies. Let's put it in the upper better. Magnetic Tears. I'd rather have, I'd rather have exploding tears, not gonna lie, screw this cursed eye, it's not that bad on tainted loss, but it also just does nothing. Splash shot, toxic splash, sure, it's good, but it, it's pretty, I mean, it's a little bit of damage, I guess. Gemini can knock enemies into you, and for that reason you go into the lower bad one. Tainted Isaac exploit? I'm not sure, maybe. I don't know in my rooms. I don't this item is also pretty boring and it doesn't do anything. You have fly. <laughs> you can kind of control it and use it to kill enemies that are far away while you're camping. I guess you can go up here. Ongo babies. Whatever. Tear of Chars is useless. It's pretty useless, guys. This does nothing. Yeah, let's put it here to the active items. Undefined, not bad, not bad, 
There's better active items, but you can try, you can teleport out of challenge rooms, curse rooms. But just be careful to not scam yourself with the arrow rooms. When you don't want to go into the arrow room and your run ends and dies. So it's not bad. I like Shadow more though, because you can skip potentially. This is a pretty bad one, I don't like this item at all. I think it's boring and bad. Put it here. Polaroid, dude! <laughs> This is so stupid, but I have to put Polaroid into Game Winner because you need it. <laughs> you need it. Negative is a damage up, but you can only take this if you already have a Polaroid. Like if you clear D2 a second time, or if you double the Polaroid and the negative, I guess. If you really want to risk it and you don't have anything better for the deep low. And for that reason, you go with the other damage ups. It's pretty cool flex to get it though, not gonna lie. Ludovico, no thank you. I'd rather take it than most of these items. Soy milk. Yeah, soy milk is bad. Like it has five good synergies or something like that. It's a fun item, but unless you have like Godhead or something really crazy, you never wanna take soy milk. Oh, that is really strong. It is almost a carry. Especially if you have high tier rate. Yeah, let's put it next to Sacred Heart. I guess they belong together. The mind, the best mapping you can find. Shot speed down is kind of whack, but it can help you with a lot and it's piercing. But there are better items than this. You can go on top of Mediocre. No, you can go here. Something like this. Guys, I really, really like this item. It freezes enemies. It kills a lot of low health enemies. This is one of the best active items unless the real game carry ones that you can find in the early game. This is one of the best active items you can find in the early game if you don't have anything else. This is pretty useless and it does nothing except short speed and range. I don't care about it. And the shopkeeper is true. Speed and it drops a pill. We don't care about the pill unless we have starter deck. But speed is nice. Speed is nice. Sure. Here than shot speed, we already had this. I it's kind of I kind of like it more than the screw. Not gonna lie, one photo. Here it and shot speed down. It's gonna go into the middle between them because if you have tech X, this is one of the best items you can find from bosses. E and Love Chop. Bad boss item to find. This one as well, unless you really need a bomb. Damage and range up, huge. Damage and range up. It goes into the same category here. I like it like this more. Diplo. Diplo can almost carry you around. You can double boss. If you, if you have crazy good devil deal items, but you can only take one, you can take more. You can do game breaks with it. Yeah, it has to go high, guys. It has to go high. You can double holy cards and then use one and then save the other one. Placebo garbage, unless you have starter deck. This is an early investment. It's gonna give you some items, but it literally does nothing except a little bit of money. Toxic Shock used to be one of my favorite items until I started taking the Lost Streaking. And then I learned how bad and dangerous it can get, but I still like it a lot, but it can damage you. Remember, it can damage you. This one I don't care about. Stupid active item that I'm really gonna use. Hopefully you're gonna find something better than this. Glass cannon is huge. Very good active item. Probably the best one out of the ones that we have here at the moment. It maybe almost carries, not gonna lie. It can help you a lot. You have nothing else. I'm, you're never gonna see me take this item. Range and luck up. Let's put it with the other range ups, I guess. I'm a little bit inconsistent because I took it down here, but this literally does nothing. Car battery. Car battery is huge. Let's put it with the other batteries. I guess it goes in the middle. It just makes your... Shadows last twice as long, which is awesome. 
I don't really care about this active item, it can help you, but hopefully you're gonna find better active items than this. You're never gonna see me take this, even with Tech X. Even with Tech X, you're never gonna see me take this. I'd rather play with Hyper Cag than with this. Damage or knockback? I can go with the other knockback. I like getting damage. Incubus is huge. That was your damage. But I'm still gonna take... I'm gonna put it here. I'd still get... I'd still rather get a damage item that also gives me an additional stat up. I'll be honest. Base reward... Can be good. I guess we put it at Mediocre. The, the thing that carries Toxic Shock, but I forgot to say, is you can spin it down in a couple of tries into something good, I think, if I remember correctly. Into Deplo, I think. Little chests can drop some good stuff. Mainly trinkets, though. I don't care about the flies. This one's pretty bad. I don't like this one. It makes the enemies chase the fly instead of going to you. I don't like it. Scatterbombs is also very dangerous. <laughs> Adrian, yeah, I rip. Scatterbombs is also pretty dangerous. Sticky bombs I also don't like. But I think it's the least dangerous one. Epiphany would not be that bad. Or mediocre. If it lasted when you reach the boss. But you're rarely gonna use this. Unless you have rock bottom, you're rarely gonna use this. Huge range up, tears come from the other side. Yes, it's not bad, but it's also like nothing special. The range up though, I guess. I think I valued the range ups a little bit too much here in the middle, but it can help you. Range up can help you. Sometimes you can't reach the enemy and it's gonna help you a lot. You ready to solid. This guy can give you I guess it's the best family you can find. You can give your charges. That's it. That eye is a good damage up item, but it's also gonna... Like, you're gonna miss the damage. If you can lock, in, lock it in, though, it's really good. Put it here, in the middle. Holy Light, I love Holy Light. Holy Light deals crazy damage, especially if you have Perfection. I don't think it's almost carries, but it deals crazy amounts of damage. Restock can save your ass. If you have a lot of money, you just buy a lot of cards and you're gonna find a holy card to save your day. There's not many good items here. I don't care about spiders again. I mean, at least this one makes it that spiders can't hurt you, I guess. Sure. You're never gonna see me take this item unless I have Curse of the Blind. I don't like spawning bombs under me while I'm fighting enemies. Can you even find this on Tainted Loss? I'm not sure. This is a never and this also does nothing. You already have Spectral. I'm not sure if you can actually find it. This one is not bad. You don't need to open... You don't need keys anymore, I guess. But like, usually you're gonna have keys, so it doesn't really matter. Let's go with Pandora's Box. I like it more. Eh, I like it less than Pandora's Box. Eden's Blessing, guys. Eden's Blessing. <sighs> Bro, I should put three Eden's Blessing. You might find it for spawn, I guess. I guess you're right to, about the experimental treatment. Eden's Blessing can be in game winning, in mediocre, and in bad. You never know, but... You never... You'll, you'll never know and. Unless you try, I guess. You're about to be the, about the experimental treatment here. But only for spawn. I guess you, we can put it here with the other boss items that are mediocre. The only thing that saves this is that it spins down into Eden's Blessing. So, otherwise, I don't see much value for it. Maybe you can catch an enemy running at you. Yeah, I love Tear Detonator. Tear Detonator has crazy builds. It spins crazy synergies. It spins down into Eden's Blessing, but... I'm gonna put it at the top of Mediocre. It literally does nothing. Gurdy deals decent damage. I don't care about her, though. 
This guy just takes my coins, evolves, and then poops bombs at me. So for that reason, you're going to the never tier. Not only he steals from me, but also wants to hurt me. I never really used this item either during Tainted Lost Streaks, not gonna lie. I guess we can reroll rocks and hope to get skulls, but... Whatever, it literally does nothing. This guy just takes my keys and doesn't give me anything in return. Runeback can save you. Runeback is a good item. Runes are pretty important. Just the Algis rune, the Pethro rune, the Chera rune to double holy cards. We do like runes. Where did, I put, where did I put clear rune? There. I guess it's better than regular. Because it gives you runes. For clear rune to work, you first need a rune. Seraphim deals decent damage, but that's it. I guess it deals decent damage. We can put it here. I'd rather fight better angel items than Seraphim. The trail is useless. I don't want enemies fighting each other. I want the enemies to fight me. Zodiac, you're never gonna see me take Zodiac. Because you're gonna take get Leo, you're gonna get Libra, you're gonna get bad items. Serpent's guess is almost the same as poison, I guess. But we don't care about the black card, so it drops. Marked is a bad item. You can use it with mouse controls, but it's gonna be hard. Take X. <sighs> I wanna put it into game winning, but it's not what it used to be. It's really not what it used to be. But it is infinite range and a lot of damage. And I value it more than just a cricket's head. But it's definitely not the game winning thing that it used to be in Afterbirth Plus. This is a good active item. Magical Razor, you can steal, you can go into curse rooms, which you can rarely do. You can steal items from the challenge rooms, I guess it's better than that key. Yeah, it's better than all of these active items. Tractor Beam is huge tier rate up, huge with conjoined and triple shot and everything else actually. Only thing I don't like about it is the shot speed if you have tech X. But it's a really good tier rate up and situationally it can do a lot. You're never gonna see me take this. It's probably a bad item, but I never take this. Just because I'm always scared of the small enemies. It's probably just bad, but I never take this personally. Moist huge AoE. It's pretty risky. But it is huge AoE. But I don't wanna put it at almost yeah, it actually almost carries, I guess. It's pretty risky though. Fruit pretty purple tears. That's a good argument. <laughs> the Spear of Destiny deals a lot of damage, but there's still exploding enemies which are just gonna ruin your day. And for that reason, I usually don't take it on the end of the loss. You gotta go into mediocre just because it can it can hurt you, but you deal good damage. Explosivo Pro! It's even more unpredictable than the others, I would say. I really hate Explosivo. I also don't like how the icon looks. Chaos is almost a game carry, I would say, just because on Tainer Lost there's so many items that you're never gonna see. And then Chaos, so because the pool is smaller, so Chaos is actually not bad. But it is still a gamble. It is still a gamble, but I am a Chaos believer. This guy can freeze enemies and he can give you charges, I guess. I value charges. GB bug is a really boring item, but you can reroll stuff with him and hope to get holy cards, I guess. But I think it's so boring running back and forth and using him. D18 is very risky. I rarely use it. But can in theory, if you just get range downs, you can get very good speed, uh, uh, very good stats, but it's it's kind of a gamble. Purity would be huge if it wouldn't always give me a range up. If it wouldn't always give me a range up and you can't change it. It can often give you the stat that you really don't need, like if you're already max speed or like range. But you have one fourth chance of getting damage up and one fourth chance of getting tear it up. 
so I guess it's not bad. But it usually just scams me, unfortunately. No, the streak? Yeah, we died, unfortunately. Atom is better than more, better than this. Atom almost carries, not gonna lie. The AoE this provides and one shots enemy bosses which spawn enemies. This can this can save your run. Take Athame. I don't really care about this guy. He shoots tears. With high luck you're gonna spawn a lot of them actually, I guess. It, it can be fun. Badilas is also. I don't like that it's only for one room, but in that one room it's gonna give you a huge damage up. More options is or there's options the same as more options. I guess it's... yeah, well, I guess I like it like this. Huge damage up, no downside on Tainted Lost. But also huge shot speed up. Let's put it like this. It's just a huge damage up, but nothing else. Shot speed down. This gives you a lot of coins, which can be very useful. Mm, but I'd rather get better sh other shop items than this, but it, you're gonna get your money back with it. Succubus. Succubus is the item that made the world record streak die. It is huge, but it's gonna kill enemies when you don't want them to, to kill it. But I like the damage that it provides you, but it can kill you for that you go into mediocre. Fruitcake, you're never gonna see me take fruitcake. Golden Teleporter is probably the same as Undefined. You can really milk Golden Teleport. Not gonna lie, you can also get all the arrow rooms. Very undervalued items, very good. This is just garbage devil deal item that I hope that I'll never find. And this is also just garbage. Glowing Hourglass, there we go. Glowing Hourglass is for now on the first spot. There's one item that's better than the Glowing Hourglass. But I would say Glowing Hourglass, especially after changes, is better than Book of Shadows. Unless you have a lot of these battery items. Then it's gonna help you, but other than that, Glory Hourglass is a run winner. Sackhead can drop your 40 cards. For that reason, you go here. I don't care. Revenge Fly, can you even get this one on the Tainted Lost? I'm not even sure. Whatever. Minecrafter, uh, you go here. Bombing Skulls, but you want better active items than Minecrafter. This gives you a lot of keys, a lot of coins, but I guess I'd rather get a steam sale than, than this item when I bomb a shopkeeper. Botfly literally, and not even Botfly, Papa, Papa Fly literally does nothing. Oh, I like this one. Double the shots, conjoined. Not as consistent as the ink covers, but you can, you can abuse this item a lot. I guess it's... It's a little bit less consistent than Dead Eye, but it's pretty good. Little bombs can save your day. Probably the best bombs you can find. You can get a holy card from a prize bomb. Yeah, probably, probably the best bomb upgrade, I would say. Just because of the protection. This is a decent active item because it drops flies, but you can control when they spawn. And when to use it, and usually you're just gonna save up the flies and kill the bosses with it. That's probably the best fly item here. Loki I don't like because it's really hard to see which shots are yours. But it's conjoined. D7. D7. It's not almost carries, but you can game break with it. You can game break with it, which is crazy, but you also need a backpack for it. I gotta put it almost carries just because of the game break potential. Ink is one of the best boss items you can find. Just because of the size down. I'm gonna put it here. Like this. I think that's fair. Eh. Doubling your trinkets is huge. Also it can give you like very useful trinkets like Sigil of Vigilance. But usually you're gonna have better active items. Kinestone is huge, you can one-shot bosses with it. Sometimes it can screw you over, but I like it a lot. Especially the initial Kidneystone deals a lot of damage. Mega Blast, guys. 
I know this sucks and it's gonna be disappointing. Only useful case for Mega Blast is to kill Isaac or a boss. That's all. I guess we can put it at the top of mediocre. We're gonna we're gonna kill the boss that you want to kill, but you can't go around clearing rooms with Mega Blast because you're just gonna run into enemies and die. So don't do that. This is huge, a lot of tear rate up, a lot of damage with perfection. We could go here, next to Tough Love. Red Pencil, deals decent damage. If you have high tier rate or if you just shoot a lot of tears, but... It can help you early game. It can have some decent synergies. I don't know, let's put it here. Talk to slight damage up, tells you where secret rooms are. Also if there's a crawl space. Sure, good, good, good mapping. Just because of the damage up. And it also is pretty useless. I don't really care about this item, it does nothing. It's not gonna actively hurt you, but it just does nothing. Same with this one, I don't care about this active uh, these beans. This is not bad. I'm gonna put it next to freeze shot because if you hit an enemy with the coin shot, you're gonna turn him golden and you have more time to kill him. Which is not bad. Where did I put it though? Where did I put the freeze shot? Is it in better? I can't find it. Am I blind? I might be blind, guys. Does anybody see the freeze shot? Well, I'm actually blind. Whatever, until we find it. I like it. Freezing bosses and dealing giga damage to them is nice. I don't remember where I put the other freeze effect. Alright, third cloth. Huge value. Can give you a holy card. Yeah, pretty nice. Double reverse lover's card for two extra cards. Double reverse judgment for two extra restocks. Pretty crazy. Range up, a little bit of tier rate up. Uh, a little bit of extra tiers. Let's put it here. It's not gonna carry you around. Plus enter. And almost carry you around just because you can hold a second holy card, which is very big. Luck up and one coin. Whoa! That's lost coin. Extra trinket space, we like that a lot. Also, it's usually for free. Ogre tears. Ogre tears deal a lot of damage over time. But if the enemy jumps up or something like that, the boogers fall down. But they can deal decent damage over time. Start building it here. It's a better item. I don't like this item. It blinds enemies. It really has not much purpose. Let's put it here. Parasitoid! I, I know I said a lot of times that I don't like... I don't like speed downs. I feel different about this one. I like the speed that it gives and the spiders and the flies that it gives. But flies are still dangerous, but you can kind of control it a little bit more. I'm gonna put it at top of mediocre just because it synergizes well with high tier rate, high damage builds. This is the best piercing item you can find. By far, especially with the homing. Let's put it. I like it. Do I like it more than Proptosis? Yeah, I like it more than Proptosis. I like it more than the Pentagram. I like it more than damage and speed. I like it more than Abaddon. It's, I like it more than the Girl of Babylon as well, I guess. Put it like this. Acid Tears, guys. Don't take don't take Acid Tears on Tainted Lost. You want to hide on rocks, and you can't do that if you destroy the rocks. I don't really care about this item either. Tear it up, and you can angle your tears. It's not bad. Probably one of the better tier items. 
Yeah, angling your tears is just pretty useful, especially if you're on controller. Contagion is very satisfying, it can be dangerous, but you can kill huge waves of enemies with it. I'm gonna put it in better. The finger... Oh, the finger is dangerous, right? I think it explodes... Does it explode barrels? I think it can hurt you, but it can also deal nice damage. Let's put it here. The shadow, I don't care about the shadow. I'd rather get... It doesn't even give conjoin, so I'd rather get... I'd sense something better in the devil deal. Like boring. Depression. Just for the odd holy beam that it gives, but it's also very bad. This guy, I don't like him. He stops the, he stops the move. He stops moving while you're shooting. You're never gonna align him to deal damage. He's pretty useless, I would say. Let's put him here. It's not gonna do much, we can sacrifice him. My monster can deal decent damage. It's not a conjoined piece, but he can deal decent damage, I would say. King Baby, I'm not a fan of. Maybe I don't understand it well, but I don't like that the, your familiar stand behind him. I don't like that. I'd rather have them follow me. Big Chow is pretty goated. Big Chow is pretty goated. He deals a lot of damage and blocks a lot of tears. I usually. Usually he helps a lot against Mom's hard fight, for example. I like him. Okay, I'm never gonna use this item unless you have by any kind of chance respawn abilities. But you're never gonna use this. This is uh, after the nerfs. It got nerfed for speed running. The D1 got nerfed for speed running, but it can help you turn cards into holy cards, which is pretty substantial. Put it here. It's an almost carry. Oh, it. I guess you can destroy all the mediocre items, and it gives you setups. So just for that, I guess. I guess it belongs on the top of mediocre. Just because you can destroy the bad items. Pause. I mean, you can freeze them and use orbitals to kill enemies, but it's still risky and it can hurt you. But it can give you time to think, I guess. Can give you time to think, but other than that, you're gonna want other active items which are better. Smelter is huge. Smelting trinkets can give you crazy runs, and you can smelt the perfection trinket. GG. This one. Oh, you can do some really fun stuff with composts. But, as I always said, blue flies and blue spiders are dangerous. Data mine is even worse than the 8 because it doesn't multiply it, it's just random. I hate it. Unless you have rock bottom, I guess. Mama Mega, huge fan. One shots the floor, but if there are shrooms in any room and they explode, you can lose your holy mantle. It has happened to me. But it is pretty good for one floor, I guess. You can also open the boss rush if it's closed. I think this is the one which deals damage and doesn't just knock back. I think this is... I can't... Wait, I can't believe it's not butter, but... I don't have a ventricle laser to steal items. Yo! I would have put this very low. The cro crooked penny until I saw the potential, guys. I saw the potential today. It usually scams me. But together with Damocles Sword... Holy! Together with Damocles, it was crazy. I never used this item, I don't care. It's like Dead Sea Scrolls to me. I never use it. The Infinity is better than D6 because you have all the devices in it. Yeah, you're, you're rarely gonna. I mean. If you have to take it in the angel deal, it's gonna give you extra angel deal items. But I'd rather find something else in an angel deal. This guy drops pills, but only... It can drop cards if you have starter deck, but other than that, pretty useless. Same category as the other pill items. This guy shows you secret rooms. And special rocks, I guess. You can go into mapping. Dude, I love... I love... Jacob's Ladder, it's so much fun. I value it a lot, but I think there's still a bug where it can kill you, right? 
But I still value it a lot. You can go here. It's a better item. Boss Pepper, no questions asked, is a game winner as long as as soon as you get to perfection. It's probably better than Brimstone, just because the it blocks the, the fire blocks everything. Euthanasia is also very good. It kills a lot of enemies which are usually not able to kill, and I love that about Euthanasia. Game on this gives you a lot of time to think. Huge damage, huge tier rate up. I like it more than Omink, Untainted Lost. Reality gives you the option to choose. But it's... I mean, if you, unless you get Damocles or Attack X randomly, like, just stick to the wheels. I guess Eucharist is slightly better. Yeah, Eucharist is not bad. At least it confirms you the angel deals. We can, I, we can put it in the same category as both had. This guy drops sex. Same category as the sack hat, if I can find it there. I don't like the slow tears, as I always said. Not too much of a fan, can't say that I'm a fan. Lil Horn can also kill enemies, but it, it can't go as high as euthanasia because it just knocks back, for example, Isaac while he's shooting the bullets at you. And that's gonna hurt you a lot. But I still like that he can... You can kill some pretty interesting stuff with it. But lately I'm skipping it as a useless active item, which is not gonna do much for you. This one... Also useless. Does it spin down into anything interesting? I don't think so, right? I don't, I don't, I don't need this item. X have a huge value. Huge damage. As you can go here. Just because it makes the enemies bleed and deals a lot of damage. Trap throw is underrated. Trap throw it might not as not it it serves the same role as pay to win, right? Or as magic fingers, I mean. But it's just you can use it only once per room usually or twice at max if you need it. But if you have high damage. If you have high damage, why not? But there's better active items for sure. Can you find this even obtained at loss? I'm not sure, but. I don't think it blocks bullets. It deals damage, but it doesn't block bullets, so it's pretty risky. You don't want to use orbitals while being kind of lost. Same with this guy. Pretty useless active item, I might say. I don't know. I guess it can help you against a boss, but I, I don't know. I don't care about it. Angry Flight to me also always feels like it's just flying around the enemies instead of damaging them. But yes, I guess it can sometimes damage enemies. This is an interesting active item. It looks pretty useless, but it can help you kind enemies and hold them at the other side of the room. But that's all it does. Decent damage and it just locks up enemies. Goes into the middle. This one can save your run. Especially if you can use it in a... You can use it in a secret room with a restock machine, it could be really good. Let's put it next, let's put it above restock actually. This one's pretty useless, you're never gonna see me. It's pretty fun with Brimstone I guess, but it doesn't do much and you want better active items. And a turret that shoots. Bomb items. It's free. It's five free bombs I guess, and bombs, I value them a lot. But in a box can't scam you, I think. I think he can deal fire mine shots, right? Little Delirium is bad, don't take it. Jumper cables can charge every 15 enemies, sure. But with the batteries. Coupon is underrated, guys. Coupon steal devil deals. Steal shop items. Very good active item early on if you don't have anything better. Not bad at all. Let's put it here. You can steal every items, but it's not gonna give you holy cards. This is protection, but it's kinda weird. It's very weird to use. I rarely take this. I mean, it can save you, I guess. 
It can save you, I guess. Let's put it up here. Moving box, you can do some crazy game breaks with it and roll stuff, but usually I don't have the time to do it. But you can also take, if you have more holy cards, you can take them with you. It allows you to take more holy cards with you. This is only good if you have piercing, and for that reason you go... Under piercing? If you don't have piercing, it's not gonna do much. Well, I don't think you can get Leprosy on Tainted Lost, that's my bad. Seven Seals is also an item that I really never wanna take. But I guess you can deal with it, but it's gonna actively hurt you. This guy has the same value as Coupon, maybe even slightly better, because he can open doors and secret rooms. I like Prism a lot, but it doesn't do much on its own. But I like it a lot. Plop, I never take Plop, it's just bad. It doesn't actively hurt you, but it's just bad. Death list can sometimes give you setups, but I'll be honest. Usually, it's like in most rooms, it's too risky to follow to follow the death list. But the setups it can provide you are nice. Molacra, I like a lot. A lot of people don't like Molacra, but I think it has very interesting synergies. But it can arch the tears very bad. It's bad with piercing. A huge damage up though. I'm gonna put it above regular piercing, I guess. I'm a huge Hemo fan. Lacquer is only good with piercing, I would say, or like Brimstone and stuff like that. And for that reason, it also goes to Technology Zero. I guess it's kind of more useful than Technology Zero sometimes. Tresagion. I feel like Tresagion is the definition of mediocre. It's bad with high shot speed. It's good with a with a couple of items. Sure. I'm not a fan of it though. School bag can help you a lot. It's not an almost carry, but it does help a lot. One of the better shop items you can find, I would say. It provides you so much value, and it also helps you with game breaks. It doesn't almost carry, but it's one of the better shop items you can find, I guess. Yeah, uh, Sacrificial Altar. It can kill your Incubus, but just because it can kill all these other familiars that I don't rate very highly. It can give you Brimstone. Not bad. It's a one-time use only, though. Are five items I have to go? That's not true. Only... Fifteen... 150 items, you're almost finished. Little Spewer, pretty useless. Don't care too much about him. Flat stone, skip any stone, dude. Skipping tears. I'll be honest, they don't really do much. They really don't do anything. A little bit of splash damage again, I guess. Woo! Pointy rip is bad. It's good damage, but it can hurt you. And it's less damage than the Spear of Destiny, but it, I guess you can use it to kill enemies, but it's very risky. One of the best books you can find. It's gonna give you so much pr protection. It doesn't ex protect you from brimstones and... It doesn't protect you from brimstones and... Explosions, but it provides you so much value and the skeleton bodies they're gonna save your day. This can drop a very, very good trinket, which has a 25% chance of reviving you after death. And for that reason... Yeah, but you usually find it early, but it's one of the best tier items you can find just for the trinket it drops. Jawbone, literally useless. It can bring you enemy uh, items, but you can just fly over there. This item does nothing on Tainted Lost. I guess it can hurt enemies, but that's it. I like this item a lot. I like it more than Booger Tears. Also more than Big Chat. Gives you 5 coins, and I usually only use it if I don't really don't have anything else. And I use it against Blue Baby. But I don't see much value behind it. Let's put it here. Also, I like Lunk more than Cursed, I would say. 
Crystal for one room on three charges can be useful, but if you need to take this item, you usually have big, bigger problems. But sure. Let's put it in the middle of me mediocre. Let's put it here. It's better than a lot of active items here. Yeah, let's put it above Mama Mega. This can give you this can give you holy cards, but it's very rare. But just because in theory it could drop your holy card if I remember correctly. It has to go after Book of Sins. Something like this. I'm pretty sure it can drop cards. Extra tears can be fun. They don't really do much on its own. You can go in the same category as these items. I like this item. I used to like this item a lot, but it's so risky. If an exploding fly flies just one one inch too close to you, it's gonna kill you. One pixel too close to you. But it can be fun and it deals nice damage. So I like almond milk less than I like soy milk. Soy milk is way cooler. Almond milk makes me uncomfortable. I don't know. I can't really explain it. Rock bottom can save your run if you have something to use it with. But it usually... Like, it spawns so rarely, and then you still need an extra item to make it work with. But if you make it worth it, it's gonna be crazy. I don't like these bombs. I usually skip these bombs, just because the explosions are so random. Yeah, the explosions are really random, like mixed with scatter bombs, big boy explosions, and everything else. Power of Soap is tier and shot speed up. We already had to have some here. I guess it looks cooler than the others. <laughs> Yo, not this guy. Oh, not the blood puppy, dude. He deals damage, but it also actively, actively hurts you. But he's cute. You need to bomb him if he turns evil. It goes on top of bad. Nah, it's less than... It's pretty dangerous item, actually. I'm gonna put him after Gup's tail. Dreamcatcher, pretty good item actually, not gonna lie. Shows you the boss, which doesn't really matter, but shows you the item room so you can skip it and boost your planetarium chances. You put it here, this also boosts your planetarium chances, I guess it makes sense, but it doesn't if you give you a holy card. This is a very good tier it up item, and you have no downside when you're playing Tainted Lost. Gives you actually a lot of tier 8. <laughs> Yo, this is the same as Fire Mind. Fado cookie. Ooh, I like this item. I like them a lot. I usually just camp on the rock when I have this item. And then I then I just angle the tears to the enemies. It's also good to match up. I like it more than I like joystick tears just because I play on keyboard. This is a huge damage up. The flying tears around you can kind of scam you. That's a good damage up, but. You gotta be careful if the tears that are circulating around you, if they hit someone that you're not ready for, it can damage you. Is this even final mountain loss? I rarely take this just for the same reason as I don't take the electricity here, because it can just kill you if an enemy gets too close. This guy does nothing, I guess he slows enemies and does a little bit of damage. Never take dirty mind, guys. Never take dirty mind. Never. The little poops are gonna push enemies which are, for example, brimming, brimstoming at the moment or shooting tears. And they're gonna push them into you and you're gonna die. Damocles gold item. Damocles is insane. Let's put it above Godhead. In theory, you could get nothing if you're really unlucky, but if you can manage to go Angel Deals after you get Damocles, it's gonna be really good. This is the same as the Lemon Bro. This does nothing. Spirit Sword is a lot of damage, but it's so risky. It's so risky. Especially against Isaac fight, for example, but it deals a lot of damage. Red Key Extravaganza. Mm. 
just because of the chance of getting ultra secret rooms with a second heart, it's not bad. I'd rather have smelter than a red key. Yeah, let's put it here. Let's put it here. I guess it fits to these to these items. Okay. Just because it provides a speed down and it makes it really hard to see what it's gonna give you. It's a bad item. Never. Only only useful item. Useful. It, I guess it's a touch for fun guys, so I guess we can put it here, but you don't need it. Rockets are fun, they deal a lot of damage, but they're gonna kill you, so they go in the category of bombs that hurt you. Wisps and angel deals. I wanna say this is almost uncarry. It's not game winning, but it, it the wisps can protect you. They block tears, and it gives you the option to go angel deals. So I'm gonna put it in almost carries. Alabaster box, you're gonna rarely fill it up. It costs 15 coins, and then as soon as it's almost finished filling up, you're gonna find a better active item, and then you're gonna leave a half full Alabaster box behind. It always makes me so mad, so you're going to bed. Ladder is huge. It can give you holy cards. Ladder is huge, it almost carries. I guess it's slightly worse than. It's better than you curse and go to just because it can provide holy cards very consistently. Alright. Soul Soul plus Mega Mush. Mapping. Full clear, full charge. Really not bad. I guess it's this is actually the best mapping item you can find. put it above mind just because of the full net yeah just because of the full charge you can for example go in with book of shadows kill the boss and your book of shadows is charged again for the next floor which is huge luna is making your secret rooms better let's put it next to mind just the setups it provides is really valuable mercurius is insane I'm gonna put Mercurius at the top of better. It's pretty controversial, but you can enter a room, look what it is, and then go out again. Because when you're Tainted Lost Streaking, this is only relevant for Tainted Lost Streaking, I would say. If you're playing regularly Tainted Lost, you can go into a room and pause and just think about how you want to clear the room. But you're not allowed to do that when Tainted Lost Streaking. So, this is gonna help you actually. This is gonna help you a lot. Venus can save you, but it can actually help you because enemies that charge towards you are gonna run away again. Well, it's also kind of dangerous, but it can, I guess, save you in some situations. Terra is horrible. I guess it's a damage up, but you don't want to be destroying rocks, especially in Womb. Mars! I love Mars. I like it more. <sighs> I mean, you can do some... You can do some pretty cool stuff with it. You can use it to get free curse rooms, for example. But the probabilities of it hurting you are very high. But I like it a lot, so it's top of bad tiers. It also can protect you, like you get invincibility frames, which is huge on Tainted Lost. Jupiter is a never, even worse than these items. Uh, Saturnus? Sure. You gotta be dangerous, you gotta be careful just because it can kill enemies that you're not ready for, but sure. But this is Uranus. Uranus freezes exploding enemies, which is huge. Freezes exploding enemies, freezes enemies that spawn new enemies. It really helps Untainted Lost. It's not a run winner, but it provides a lot, a lot of value. Mm, I'll put it somewhere here, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's that's pretty nice. I love Neptunus. Good damage, good DPS. But not as useful as Uranus. It's just good DPS. Let's put it with some other DPS items, I guess. Gotta be tap shooting, though, to unlock the maximum potential out of it. Luto is probably... The 
one of the most important items you can find from a planetarium. <sighs> huge size down, huge tier rate up. Let's put it next to Binky, it makes sense. More curse rooms is just bad. Like, very rarely you're gonna be able to take curse rooms from Tainted Lost. But if you're able to, doubling them, I guess, is nice, but... Other than that, it's very niche use case. More tier rate, sometimes shoots double the tiers from the right eye or something like that. It's an interesting tier rate item, I would say. Tier rate and angel chance up, I like that, but I want better angel items. As soon as I go angels, I want something better than just a little bit of tier rate up, but there's still worse items than this, I guess. Yo, VIP shop. If you have the money, you can find holy cards, you can find sacred hearts. I think it's slightly worse than the leather, just because it can get really expensive. But it can have very good items in it, but you just need to stack your money. Some batteries. Batteries are good, I guess you can. it helps you game break or something. Very rarely you're gonna see a thing that lost Trika by this item, I would say. Bracelet destroys all the skulls. And just for that, we're gonna value it the same as the notched axe. Slightly worse though, because it doesn't deal damage to enemies. But destroying every single skull in Deaths 1 and Deaths 2 should hopefully give you a holy card if you need one. Uh, where is Notch Dex? Dude, I can't, ah, there it is. Also, I guess the Bag of Runes has a little bit more value. Okay, this is pretty useless. It's the same as Coop. It's the same as the floating enemy which does nothing. Where did I put him? There he is. Just that it's on active. I guess it gives you a little bit of damage up, but I don't really care. <sighs> Rift Tears. This is the item that made us lose the win streak of 36 rounds, guys. This is the item that made us lose. Screw you. Screw you. I disapprove of this item. Remove it. Worse than anything else here. Just because it ruined my run. This guy makes it really hard to see where the enemies are shooting. The boiled baby, don't use it. This guy can freeze enemies, I guess he's pretty chill. <laughs> this guy's pretty chill, yeah. Okay, it's not that high up. Yeah, he's somewhere up here. Just because he can freeze enemies, but it's very rare. But he's chill. Almost finished, guys. Terminal D6 is nice. But just because it can remove the item instead of getting it, it's kind of a gamble. It's kind of a gamble. Let's put it here. It's fitting next to the Crooked Penny. Narings I like a lot. It's gonna save you. It deals huge amounts of damage. I don't care. Put it here. Charge it up. It can, it can reflect bullets that are traveling towards you. It can one-shot a lot of bosses. Uh, can you even find this on Tainted Lost? I'm not sure. I might have done some mixed mistakes here. I don't think you can find this. I don't think you can find the dumpy as well. My bad, sorry guys. Alrighty then. More flames, not as good as the blue ones, but with perfection together it's gonna carry your run. Why do I leave Holy Mantle here? You can't really find this either, unless you spin down into it. I meant to remove this, oops. Oldstone tears are horrible, don't take them. Same as Rift tears. Tomato. I don't really care about tomato, it does nothing in my opinion. Put it down here. Perfright is gonna save you. It's not gonna carry you around, but it's gonna save you if you need it. Huge. And it's always, always just always good to have the backup, you know? You play way more confident when you have the backup. Red Stew provides a lot of damage, which is gonna fall off quickly when you attain the lost tricking. But just for that one floor or two floors, it's 
it's gonna help you a lot for one or two floors. I prefer it over 2020. Genesis Pro Genesis is a gamble as well. It can save you though if you don't have your holy mantle anymore because you lost your holy card. You can't bug abuse it though, but it can save you. And you can skip Cathedral in theory and hope to get a better build. This opens chest items, just chest doors and gives you 5 keys, but that's it. Guess you can use it to run through the chest, but I think it's risky running through the chest without clearing it, except for a couple of rooms. But it's very useful. I'll put it into the Yorker. Booster pack can save you. It's a 50-50 basically if it drops a holy card or not. But it can save you. I don't think it carries you, but it just saves you. Hopefully. So I put it up here. 50-50 to give you a holy card from the probabilities. Mega Mush is almost a is pretty much game winning. Let's put it here. Because you still need to charge it. But it's pretty much game winning. You're just gonna use it before you take a hit or before a boss. This item spins down into Mega Mush, which makes it I guess a little bit better than me. I guess it makes it mediocre because it spins down into Mega Mush, but that's its only purpose. We don't care about second knife piece, you're never gonna take this one. It literally doesn't matter, it doesn't do anything. Death certificate is the best item. There we go. There we have it. Death certificate is unfortunately the best item for Tainted Lost. You get yourself your Holy Mental, you get yourself your Dead Cat, get yourself damage, whatever you want, whatever you need. You'll get it. It's not gonna help you when you're doing unlocks because you haven't it unlocked. But for the streaks, for the streaks, it's gonna save your run. And this one is pretty good because it spins down into it, and that's all it does. It spins down into the certificate, which makes it very valuable actually. Just for the spin down. Let's put it at the end of better. This does nothing, not a fan. It can help you, it protects you from the tears that... Uh, what's it called? The TV boss spawns, I guess. It protects you from those tears. But I, it, it also protects you from fear. I guess it's not bad. It's mediocre. It's pretty useful when you're doing unlocks, but for streaks it literally does nothing. Mm, let's put it here. I like crowd control items. This guy can block tears. When he explodes, you have to walk over the red cross. But he can block tears. It's pretty useful against the Isaac fight, for example. I like that. Stitches can save you. You can, you can do some... It just protects you, and you can also go curse rooms. You can reposition yourself. Yeah. Very valuable item, not gonna lie. Doesn't give you speed, but it you can reposition yourself, or you can go curse rooms for free. Arcree is basically game winning, I would say. <sighs> Let's put it. It allows you to see so much more items and hopefully get the, yourself a holy card and just fight easier enemies. It allows you to game break. Sure, let's put it as game winning, whatever. Knockback, extreme knockback is bad, guys. It helps you with kiting, but you're gonna knock an enemy into a wall and then it hits the wall, ricochets off the wall and hits you. So I actually never take this item. Eraser, it's you can erase an enemy, which is nice, but usually you're gonna have a better active item. You also never you see tainted lost players use the fire. Fire deals deal, deals good damage, but usually you have better active items than this. It literally doesn't matter. So that mine is worse than these items actually here. 
Oh, we had this run. We had this run together with... We had this item together with... Tear Detonator, which was pretty fun. But other than that, leaving a trail of tears behind you... It can deal damage, but it can also mess you up. It's one of those items that can mess you up. I don't know. Let's put it... Let's put it here in the middle. Between Ochrom 1 and number 1. This item is the same as Mystery Gift. Use it wherever you want. Hopefully in a secret room with a restock machine or in the Devil Deal. This is slightly worse than more. But it's, it has more range. It has more range than more. Should we put it as almost game... Almost carries? Almost game winning. It's only in one direction, but... It's kind of like a brimstone. I'd rather have the more because it protects me around me and kills enemies from all sides. But you can kill enemies that are very far away with this and it's too risky to go to them. This usually gives you range up, but sometimes it can give you... Heat or tier rate up. And it usually drops a coin or a key or a bomb if you don't have anything else. So I'm gonna put it at the top of the range up items. I'm gonna put it here actually. You can manipulate it to give you a tier rate if you take brimstone for, before it, for example, in the devil. Brim bombs are not bad. Probably the second best bombs. Eh, they deal decent damage. Let's put them at the, above tier bombs. This is a huge item. It's not a game carry, but it's gonna save your run with Book of Shadows. Uh, I kind of like double charging more. Because it helps you against the regular rooms as well, but against bosses, you will always be protected with Book of Shadows and 4.5 battery, 4.5 volt battery. Booty Plum literally does nothing, just flies around, and it's cute. It's cute. I like it. Also, I don't know why I put this so high up. I'd rather have conjoined than these items. Let's put it here. Can kill exploding enemies? True. Yeah, but I mean, it's fair here. And I'll, just because it's cute, we're gonna put it above here. It's true that it can kill exploding enemies, so that is correct. This does nothing. Fruity Plum appears. It's cute. It dances around on your screen, tries to kill someone, but... You're only gonna get this if you don't kill Fruity Plum, but usually you want to kill Fruity Plum so that you get... Hopefully DPS up item from the boss. So no thank you. It's not a bad item though. But you you don't need it. You don't need it. I don't know, let's put it here. Star of Bitlim. Just follow it. Your run is gonna be two hours long, but if you follow the Star of Bitlehem and kill the bosses. Sometimes it can get blocked, though. Uh, let's put it here. It's almost actually... Wait. To be honest, it's almost a solo carry. It's almost a solo carry. But the retro... It can help a lot with... When there's swarms of enemies coming towards you. You just insta-one-shot them. And if you don't know if you... A lot of people don't know that, but you can use this to kill ghosts, even ghost bosses, if they're below 40% HP, I think. Which makes it an interesting item, but... Usually you're gonna have better active items than this, but... It's pretty interesting. Maybe I underrate this one, not gonna lie. False PhD... You can use it on range down and luck down pills, I guess. Which is not bad, and you're gonna get damage in exchange for it. So I'm gonna put it the same category as Luckfoot. Maybe, maybe, eh, no, it's worse than Luckfoot. Another Damocles. Oh yeah, I think this is the passive Damocles when you have it active. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it down here because you can't really find this in the game. On well, this item we had, I think, I, find, I think I found this item on the losing streak, on the streak where we died. It makes it really hard to see which enemies, which enemy bullets are yours. Which bullets on the screen are yours and which are enemy bullets. Tropic commit is a range up item, but I hate that it makes your tears look like they deal more damage. It makes them bigger and red, 
but it doesn't actually provide the rage up. And I really hate that, it really makes me mad. So I'm gonna put it at the bottom of the range up items. There we go. It really makes me mad. Heart reading is probably better than mapping because you can just skip and hope to get to the boss. Unless you get scammed, but then you can get free secret rooms, I guess. Mm. This item spawns little ghosts when you kill enemies. It's a conjoint piece. I guess it can get a little bit messy and there can be a lot of explosions on your screens with exploding enemies. But I think this item is fun. I think it's fun. It's also a conjoint piece. Alright, to the nail. It's three secret rooms. It's a little bit more consistent than Mars. It's gonna save you. I mean, only only useful. I mean, it's gonna occasionally, with a very rare chance, save you. But other than that, you can just get three secret rooms, and you can get it with this more consistently as well, with the ventricle razor and do other stuff. Capis eye is nice. Capis eye is really nice. No need to risk. No need to risk any red chests if there's bombs inside and stuff like that. Provides a lot of useful information. I like it more than I think. Free curse rooms nice is nice, yeah, but that's it. That's all it does, free curse rooms. I hate the straw man. I guess you can try and do I guess you can try and do sacrifice room strats with it, but that's it. This guy just blocks my vision and I don't like him. Sausage is huge. Also boosts your devil deal chance if I remember. Sausage is really nice. But usually want something but other from the secret room pool. More options can save you. I had a chance to find holy cards. And for that reason you go here. T section is not what it is after the nerfs. But it's still just shoot and the C-section is gonna do everything else. I wouldn't... Is it a solo carry? If you get damage and tier rate up and then a couple of synergies, it probably is a almost... It's not a solo carry, but it's pretty high up there. I'm gonna put it above Godhead. Lil Abaddon. Another familiar. He deals good damage. Around, almost around you, not bad. Put him here, I like him. Montezuma. It's like a fake Mo and a fake revelation. I guess it's only good against enemies that charge you. If the enemies charge you, just shoot him and then poof him in the face, I guess. But that's it, I don't know. It's gonna help you early game, but afterwards it falls off very, str very strongly. I hate this guy, I never take him. I don't need the portals or whatever else he does, I don't care about that. Worm friend, yo, I love worm friend. Holding tight enemies can be pretty nice. Holding them down. It's probably the same as freeze, freeze effect, not gonna lie. Holding them down is nice. Bone spurs is also very nice. Enemies that Explode into tears when they die. Usually the bone spurs block those tears, so it's gonna protect you a lot. I'm gonna put it here. The red ghosts, yeah, sure. You're gonna spawn a lot of them and they're gonna run down the enemies. Let's put it here. You need to kill enemies to get the ghosts, and you need to kill enemies to get the damage from Bloody Lust, so I guess it makes sense that they're together. 12 charges to get one wisp. Tell me a world where this is good. Wisps can be good, they can protect you, they can scam you. But it just takes way too long to charge, not gonna lie. It takes way too long to charge. I guess this is the only item next to Alabaster Box that makes Soul Hearts useful. Gives you a little bit of stats every time you pick up a Soul Heart. It's not bad. 
Usually after you find this, I don't find any soul hearts anyways. But the stats it can give you are can be nice. Friend Finder is so much fun. If you get a Viz, which is the Brimstone enemy, it's gonna deal so much damage and you get, it's gonna help you clear rooms. But it's also really visually noisy. I guess it can go with the other visually noisy items. Glitch Crown. Probably a game winner. Let's put it here. It's gonna help you find the other game winner items. Yeah. Let's put it... I mean, Mom's Knife is gonna solo carry because it's probably the strongest item in the game, but you just need to be careful not to die. Which Crown is huge. Cracked Orb is gonna help you find a lot of better items. But Tainted Loss already finds better items, so I usually... I'm like, okay, nice, but... There's better items. Salvation. It deals damage, but you're rarely gonna proc it unless you have, like, some sort of shield active. It's a way to risk it to go close to enemies to proc it. And it's also gonna explode the enemies if you kill them with it. Anishing Twin is an interesting one. Double boss items is huge, but fighting them can be really scary. But it's a good item. I'm gonna put it at the bottom here. Getting a second boss item is good, but... Like, if you have to fight three flails, for example, <laughs> that's GG. Twisted Pair, finally! Just at very same category as Incubus. I like it a little bit more because it's more tiers. So it's more value if you have, like, Jacob's Ladder, for example, and stuff like that. Just a pair is cute. This spawns a lot of spiders. It's a spider generating item, we already know where they go. Uh, Demon Horn. Short Brimstone proc. In my opinion, it usually just messes you up. It's pr it procs in rooms where I don't want to proc it. It can help you against the boss, I guess. But usually you're gonna take the other Devil Deal item. Echo Chamber is GG. It's not gonna be a solo carry. But three holy cards is huge. This chest usually just drops soul hearts, but it can also drop, I guess, some good angel deal items. It can also drop. Can it drop holy cards? I think so. Iso Jr. is bad. You lose your holy mantle. And it used to kill you. Birdlock is really fun, but unfortunately it's a bad item. Going melee range is pretty dangerous and tainted loss, don't do it. Oh, I like this item a lot. Dark Arts. Dark Arts is so much protection, guys, it's crazy. It charges really fast, it deals damage, and it just saves you. I think it's a little bit less consistent than just blocking tears, blocking projectiles. Oh, Johanna, I think I'm ready, but I'm already too late, I'm sorry. I have only these items that I need to make fast. Abyss. Useless. It's worse than Void. It, I guess you can, you can turn garbage items into flies, which help you with DPS, but it's less, not as consistent as Void, and you want better items than this. Staple has pretty interesting synergies. And it also is a damage up, sure. But it's a damage up and that's it. These are also stat ups, let's put it like this. Alright, almost finished guys. Suplex can save you, it's not as consistent as Dark Arts, but it can save you. It's more consistent than Mars, I would say. So I'm gonna put it at... I'm gonna put it into better actually, just because it can save you, but you have to have quick reactions. If you react fast enough, it's gonna save you. Crafting is nice. If you can get it into... Somewhere where you have a restock machine, but I'm not a fan of Tainted Cane, and just for that reason I'm gonna put it into Mediocre. I'm really not a fan of the crafting system, but it can help you, I guess. Flip can give you a second item, which is not bad. 
but usually you're gonna swap it later against better active items. Let's put it to Coupon and the other one just because it allows it to get more Devil Deal items. I guess it makes sense. Let me get on. I've had it. I've I've seen it personally solo carry me. It's pretty dangerous, so I'm not gonna put it into solo carry just because you could get Ipecac or Dr. Feeders or anything like that. But I've seen it solo carry. I've, it has happened to me. So I'm gonna put it... I've had it happen to me personally. I'm gonna put it in second row in almost carries. I think that makes sense. Keeper's balls. Spend money, get setups. Huge. Huge, 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 huge. Pretty decent setups as well. Uh, not as good as piercing, but good setups that it provides. Keeper's box, if you really have nothing else and you're trying to get more shop items, then take it. Other than that, it's not gonna give you much value. Everything jar can give you cards consistently. And other stuff, golden bombs and stuff like that. So let's put it as the most consistent card generator here into better. TM Trainer Pro, probably the worst item out of all of them. Probably the worst out of all of them. I still want to get an Eden's Blessing TM Trainer run one day, but maybe it's gonna happen. All right. Anima Sola is the same as Holy Water, maybe slightly better, just because you can control it better. I don't see because I want to finish this. I'm pretty sure you can't find this on Tainted Lost, right? I'm pretty sure you can't find it. Spin down dice. Is it game winning, guys? I'm gonna put it at the top of almost carries. Just because it can give you the game winning items, but if you don't find anything worth spinning down. No, let's put it at the bottom of game winning actually. It's not a game winning item, but it's the second item that allows you to get the Holy Mantle or the Dead Cat. It's a horrible item that we do not want. It's gonna make us spawn bombs and it's really bad. Sneeze allows us to deal more damage against bosses. And that's about it. I'll put it here. Mediocre. Ghost bombs! The ghosts deal decent damage. But not as much as Brim Bombs, or Big Boy Bombs, or Sad Bombs, or Burn Bombs. Let's put it above Butt Bombs, I guess. Oh, I like this active item a lot, especially if we can make it one room charge. In my opinion, it's better than Shoop. Only, only reason where Shoop is better, like the only situation where Shoop is better than this item, is if you have Book of Virtues. Other than that, it's gonna help you a lot with DPS and range problems. Oh, what is this item called again? Decap attack. Dude, I used to think that decap attack is useless, but it legit solo carries your first two floors if you find it in basement one. Afterwards, it falls off, but it legit can solo carry your first two floors. And just al that fact alone makes it crazy. I used to think it's useless, but then I started playing it and it, it can do a lot in the first two floors. So I think... It's not a solo carry, but it can help you a lot in the early game. All of these items, are, I'm gonna put it here before. Yeah, I'm gonna put it here before the setups that are decent. Alright, guys, we're almost finished. Damage up and luck up, not bad. Good bonus that luck is always good to have, unless if you have rift tiers. I like it. Damage up and range up, we've already had it, and it also, the tier travels slower, so it's gonna be hard to hit. I'm not a fan of Stai, it's weird, not gonna lie. Let's put it here, we've had this. And then we have another damage up item, and it also spawns a rune. Runes can save your run. Let's put it...
put it here. I think I'm happy with this. Maybe some of them are a little bit wonky. I think I think the range ups could have been a little bit lower. But all in all, I think this makes sense. I think this makes sense. Maybe Ina's Blessing could be worse. Also, the Polaroid is only there because I need to take it. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. Let me know in the comments if you agree with this Tainted Lost Items tier list. Don't forget to subscribe, follow on Twitch, and like the video, guys.